The reality when it comes to the volleyball is that not all volleyballs were created equally. There are some volleyballs out there that I absolutely love playing the sport with, and then there are other volleyballs out there that I would rather just not play volleyball at all than have to play volleyball with that type of volleyball. Holy crap, that was a tongue twister. Today, what we are going to be doing is creating the ultimate volleyball volleyball tier list. I have searched the internet for a compilation of volleyballs that we are going to be adding to a tier list, and this is going to help settle the debate once and for all which volleyball is truly the king of the rest. If you guys like these types of videos, make sure to leave a like. Comment down below if you want to see another tier list that has to do with volleyball, what I should make into a tier list next, and please subscribe if you're new. I promise you guys, you won't regret it. With all of that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Before we hop into the first volleyball that we're going to add into the tier list, let me explain to you the different tiers that I've created for today's video. First up, we have the GOAT tier, the greatest of all time. These are the best of the best volleyballs that I have played with, and every time I'm looking to play volleyball, I'm looking to choose one of these basically the best way that I can explain this tier is that if I had to walk into a room with every single volleyball that's ever been created these select few are the ones I'm choosing they are the best of the best it quite literally does not get any better than them right below that we have the I like it tier it's a good solid volleyball I wouldn't mind playing with it but then again it's not quite on the level of the volleyballs above that tier and then the third tier down is the wait that's all we got tier these are the volleyballs that if I'm playing volleyball with a couple of buddies and we didn't bring any of our real volleyballs these are the volleyballs that we have to play with these volleyballs are definitely meant for some more recreational volleyball but when it comes to playing a serious game of volleyball these are not volleyballs I would want to play with the fourth tier down that we have is the all pass tier if I have to play volleyball with one of these volleyballs I'm simply just not going to do it it's just not worth my time and I'd rather do other things rather than play volleyball and then the last tier we have is the ankle socks tier these volleyballs are the equivalent of wearing ankle socks while playing volleyball it should never be done just like wearing ankle socks on the volleyball court you should never play volleyball with these volleyballs with all of that out of the way let's get straight into our first volleyball the first volleyball we have up is the molten ncaa women's collegiate volleyball me personally i'm a men's volleyball player so i don't play with these volleyballs at the college level but the college i go to does have a women's team and i have peppered around with these balls and i'll say they're not bad me personally i don't really like the feel of a leather volleyball uh, especially taking that thing to a face it just hurts and I've had a lot of sore memories of taking volleyballs like that to the face. Plus, once you pass them long enough, they kind of just hurt your forearm. So I think we're going to start off this volleyball in the I like it tier. It's not one of my personal favorites, but I think it's a solid volleyball and there's a reason that they use it at the collegiate level. Oh, wow. Okay, next up, we're hopping into the Wilson all yellow with black tinted outdoor beach volleyball. I love this volleyball. I will say I personally really like this volleyball. I got into playing some more outdoor volleyball this summer i went to a handful of tournaments here or there and this is just like the gold standard of volleyballs when it comes to outdoor got a really nice feel to it it makes for some really good outdoor volleyball i'm also going to be putting this volleyball into the i like it tier but i'm going to put it ahead of the molten indoor women's college ball hopping into the next volleyball we have another outdoor volleyball it's the wilson i don't know the exact name of it but it's another wilson volleyball it's an outdoor one it's white and it has a little bit of yellow on it i don't personally like this volleyball as much as I do the newer Wilson outdoor volleyballs. I feel like every time I play with them, they have too much air in them and it's just not a good time for me. So I'm going to put that in the, that's all we got here. I think that's where it appropriately belongs. Oh boy. Okay. We got the Wilson soft touch volleyballs up next if you have ever played volleyball with these things they are not kidding when they say they are soft touch volleyballs uh they just got a really weird feel for them and i know what they're trying to do with these types of volleyballs i mean they're meant for younger players just getting into the sports uh, so they don't hurt themselves i'm not really a big fan of these volleyballs if i pulled up to a volleyball game to play and somebody's like yeah we're gonna be playing with the wilson soft touches i'm leaving i'm out of there these gotta belong in the all pass category category that's for sure okay we have another outdoor volleyball this time it is the wilson hot lavender pink outdoor grass volleyball i think it's super cool that wilson took an opportunity to make a volleyball specific for grass volleyball because grass volleyball is a ton of fun me personally i like grass volleyball more than i do beach volleyball comment down below what's better grass or beach volleyball in fact i own one of these volleyballs personally in fact i played around with it a decent amount and i'm pretty sure one of the perks 
that it has uh, compared to the yellow beach volleyballs is that these ones are better at keeping water out of them and making sure they don't become waterlogged, uh, which sucks. If you ever played volleyball with a waterlogged volleyball, it's not a fun time by any means. It does mean they have a little bit of a different feel to them, but I don't think it's a bad change whatsoever. I personally really like what they did with the colors of these volleyballs too. I think they really stand out. I don't think I can quite put them in the goat tier, but personally, I'm going to put them ahead of their yellow Wilson Beach counterparts in the I like it tier. Okay, we got the first touch molten volleyball up next. And if you have ever had one of these things, they're not volleyballs. <laughs> the best way I could describe this volleyball to somebody who doesn't know what I'm talking about, it's like a balloon with like felt wrapped around it. It's really weird, super light, not really a volleyball by any means. I wouldn't even want you to try and set the thing because it just doesn't work. Again, I know it's meant for younger volleyball players, but these things are absolutely trash. I think the Wilson soft touches are a lot better just for a beginner level volleyball. These things suck. I'm definitely going to have to put these in the ankle socks tier. That's for sure. We got the Tachikara indoor volleyball up next. What I will say off the bat is it's a good looking volleyball. I mean, I like the red, white, and black look. I think it makes for a clean look. I don't, however, think this is really that good of a volleyball. These things are kind of just weird passing. It's like more of a rubbery feel personally. I'm not really that big of a fan. Also, one thing that I will say up until this video that I failed to mention is that I'm a setter. So like all of these volleyballs, they have a different feel when I'm setting the volleyball, which I think is the most controlled action in volleyball. I guess you could say that's kind of what I'm basing some of these rankings off of in the tier list. I'm just going to go ahead and have to throw this in the all pass tier. It's not a good volleyball. If you had a Molten or Spalding indoor volleyball, I'd much prefer that rather than this. Oh, buddy. Okay. We got the Molten red, white, and green indoor volleyball up next. This is one of my all-time personal favorite volleyballs to play with. I just love the feel of this volleyball. The grip that it has is fantastic. Fantastic. It is without a doubt one of my favorite volleyballs of all time. It's got such a nice bounce to it. When you hit that thing, if I just feel like as a setter too, when I set that thing, I have so much control of what I want to do with that volleyball. That volleyball, the molten indoor one, the green colorway definitely has to go in the goat tier for me without a out. Okay, up next we have the all-white Nike brand volleyball. I will say one thing about these popular American athletic chains uh, that try and make volleyballs. They all kind of suck, okay? They all kind of suck. Like Nike, Adidas, Puma, all these companies really just aren't hopping on the volleyball bandwagon per se, and when they try and make volleyball gear, it's just really not that good. I don't think this volleyball is great by any means. I don't think it's quite at the ankle socks level, but I definitely have to throw it in the all-pass category. It's, it's just not a good volleyball at all. Up next, we have the Molten NCAA indoor volleyball, just like the red, white, and green one. I absolutely love this volleyball. It's the volleyball I play with at the collegiate level. It's just such a good volleyball. Again, it has all the same characteristics as the green one that I previously mentioned, um, but I personally like the colorway better. I think the blue is a better fit than the green. So I have to put this all the way up there in the GOAT tier, and I have to put it ahead of its red, white, and green counterpart personal preference okay this next one is a little bit funny but it is two baskets of volleyballs from the show haiku um it is the red white and green ones that they have and the yellow and blue ones and let's just say from an aesthetic appeal these volleyballs look so pleasing to the eye they just look so perfect and i feel like if i had two volleyball cards just like that my life would be complete kind of hard to rank because i don't really know like what the feel is of these volleyballs per se um but they just look so aesthetically clean that i could couldn't not include them in this tier list. That show is one of the most popular animes of all time. I'm gonna throw these volleyballs in. I like it, as in I really love it. We'll throw them right in the front of I like it tier. Cause they can't be on the goat tier cause I've never played with them, you know? Speaking of yellow and blue volleyballs, up next we have the yellow and blue FIVB volleyballs that they play with at the men's professional level. I haven't personally played in a match with one of these volleyballs. They do have a weirder, I'd say like more dense feel to them. I think that's the right way to to explain it. They definitely have a really good feel to them. I feel personally like they're just a little heavier than like the molten indoor volleyballs, the ones that I put in my goat tier. I don't think a volleyball is good when it's too heavy. I'd rather it be a little bit more on the lighter side compared to being on the heavier side. So we're going to put this volleyball in the I like it tier right behind the outdoor volleyballs. I think that's a good spot for it to be. Okay, next up we got Wilson the volleyball from the movie Castaways. I'm pretty sure at 
at some point in my life I've seen this movie, but it must have been a while ago. I don't quite remember the plot, but I do know that the main character of the movie uh, made friends with a volleyball because all of his other friends were uh, cast away on this island or something like that. I could be completely wrong. Please correct me in the comments. Me personally, I love the handprint face on this volleyball and I've seen it and I think it was brilliant by the company Wilson to make that as a volleyball and sell it. Like that's just genius marketing when the time the movie came out to do something like that. Although it's on just a plain white leather volleyball and I'm never really a fan of those things because I just think they suck. Like they're just not good volleyballs by any means. There's a reason why we don't play with plain white volleyballs today. This volleyball is a pop icon, that's for sure. So we are gonna have to throw it in the, I like it tier, but we're gonna have to put it at the bottom of it. All right, up next, we got the Dick's Sporting Good Volleyball. I guarantee you, if you're a volleyball player at some point in your career, you found yourself in a Dick's Sporting Goods and you probably thought to yourself, hey, I'd like to buy a volleyball. Oh look, there's a Dick's Volleyball. It's probably around $25.99. I'm just gonna pick that up and I'll have a volleyball. Um, Yeah, you'll come to realize that these things suck and they're sold at Dick's for a reason. They're just not good volleyballs by any means. They're weird leather, they're white. They just really don't have anything that blows them away or gives them a competitive edge compared to other volleyballs. So I'm just gonna throw these things right next to the Nike ones and I'll pass. I would hate to pass a volleyball like that because it just sucks. Okay, next up, we have any variation of a mini volleyball. Let me guys put you on real quick. If you have never played volleyball or owned a mini volleyball, I will say it is about the most fun I have ever had trying to waste time procrastinating on like my homework or something. I absolutely love the concept and ideas and execution of mini volleyballs out there. I don't think it really matters what brand of mini volleyball you use. These things are a ton of fun as a fun time waster. I just enjoy being in the presence of a mini volleyball. That's really all I gotta say. Oh, would it be stupid of me? You know what? I'm actually gonna put these mini volleyballs in my goat tier because I've owned a handful of them and I've just had the most fun trying to like pepper with my friends with a mini volleyball. Uh, it just adds for that extra bit of challenge um, in really executing in the ball control area and aspect of volleyball. Mini volleyballs are goaded. You can't convince me otherwise. Okay, next up we have a Spalding King of the Beach volleyballs. And let me say, when I first started playing volleyball outdoors on the beach when I was younger, these are the only volleyballs we used. I think the Wilson yellow ones really started to take over the outdoor scene, but these volleyballs have a special place in my heart because I even owned one way back when, way before I was PME volleyball and doing all this social media content creation. I played volleyball with the King of the Beach Spalding Volleyball. So these things have a special place in my heart. Um, I still have one around my house. I think it's somewhere probably buried in a closet. I guess the best way to describe that volleyball is that it's really handily. And that might be a funny word to describe it, but if you have ever played with one of these things, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Just the panels are kind of like bigger than you'd be used to with different types of volleyballs. But they're a good solid volleyball, um, I think. I think the change to the Wilson yellow ones um, was for the better. Regardless, these things really do have a special place in my heart and I wouldn't be mad playing with one of these in outdoor volleyball. I'm gonna put them right behind the grass balls in the I like it tier. Okay, we got an interesting lineup of volleyballs left, but next up we have the old white volleyballs that you played with in gym class. These things suck. If you take one of these things to the head, if you even take one of these things to your arms trying to pass it, they just leave red, hot, burning bruises all over and they're just so hard and so tough and they just have a terrible feel to them and they just remind me of what I hate the most which is gym class volleyball. If you ever played volleyball with your peers and students in gym class you know exactly what I mean it's just not volleyball it's the furthest thing from it. These volleyballs are awful I'm just gonna have to throw them straight into the ankle socks because that's where they belong. They don't belong in volleyball. Okay <laughs> up next we have the same volleyball as the old white high school gym volleyballs that I just just ranked, um, but crustier and even older. And funny enough, I'm gonna put these in the ankle socks tier, but I'm gonna put them above the normal white newer volleyballs because these things at least have some age to them. I think we've all seen a volleyball that's on its last limbs of life. Um, these things just have character to them. So they just automatically have an edge over the newer, crappier, awful, crappy balls that I just can't speak more or less of. I hate them. Okay, up next we have an inflatable beach Ball. While it might not be considered a traditional volleyball, we have all played volleyball in some sort of capacity in a pool or outdoors um, with an inflatable beach ball before. I'm, I know I sure have. They definitely add a different aspect of the game because they have a lot more air in them. They have a lot more hang time. Uh, it's more like balloon volleyball, if you know what I mean. If I had to put a balloon on the 
women's volleyball tier list. Balloon volleyball would probably have to be in the GOAT tier. If you know, all volleyball players have played volleyball with a balloon at some point in their lives. Um, yeah, but like if I were to show up at a little summer gathering and there just happened to be an inflatable beach ball laying around in a volleyball net, I'd have a ton of fun. It's just good vibes, a good time. Yeah, it's definitely not meant for competitive volleyball by any means, but I I'm gonna throw it in the I like it tier. I, I think that's where a inflatable beach ball belongs. And then to conclude this list, we have another version of the volley light, this time being the Tachikara volley lights. And I personally have used some of these volleyballs uh, just when I've been doing clinics and stuff with like younger kids. And yeah, they're not great, but I also, like I said about the other light versions of volleyballs, I get the purpose of them. And I think what the Tachikara volleyballs do here that's cooler than the rest is they come in different colorways. And I just think that's neat. So when it comes to the grand scheme of volley light volleyballs, I think these ones are actually superior. They, they still belong for me anyways in the all pass category. We'll put them in front of the all pass category though. All right, and that concludes the ultimate volleyball volleyball tier list. In our GOAT tier, we had three picks, uh, two of the molten indoor volleyballs and then a mini volleyball. In our most popular I like it tier, we had all sorts of different volleyballs from outdoor volleyballs to some indoor volleyballs to some pop icon volleyballs to some haiku volleyballs. We had everything in there. In the that's all we got, we just had one Wilson old AVP volleyball. Again, when I think of that volleyball, it's just pretty average. In the all pass category, we had five volleyballs, most of these just being volley lights versions of volleyballs. And then we had some cheap knockoff store brand volleyballs that just aren't good by any means. And in the ankle socks tier, we had three volleyballs, two being just the old white normal version of a volleyball. And then we had the molten first touch volleyballs, which again, are just balloons wrapped in felt. You can't convince me otherwise. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like on it. Comment down below what your favorite volleyball of all time is and what you would have done differently if you had to create this tier list on your own. Make sure to subscribe if you're new and if this video gets 1,000 likes, I will be making another volleyball tier list with something else. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.